Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So I filmed a hot seat challenge with the England squash group. Just to disclaim, I filmed it over two squads. We're all medically signed off as elite players and we're really lucky that Manchester has been signed off as an elite centre for us to be able to train. So it's really amazing to be able to keep training and to keep fit and be able to play on court with some of the best players. So yeah, we were so grateful and so lucky. I also film this adhering to all social distancing guidelines as whilst we're off the court we have to follow social distancing rules. Just wanted to make that clear before I started the video. It was such a fun video to film, I really enjoyed it. Everyone got really stuck in so if you want to see more videos like this do just let me know because it was so fun to film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, please smash a huge thumbs up and let's get started. Skillful. Uh, Jim May. Marksman. Okay. Most accurate player. SJP. She mm. slots next. Oh, friend! Jimbo, it's just unbelievable, really, uh, the things that you can do. In terms of boys, James lost drop, girls, SJ. Sam. James and SJ. I'll say, out and out school, I'll say Josh, probably the most skillful. James lost drop. Why? Because it is. SJ and James. Uh, James Allstrong. Oh, it's difficult. I'm going to say myself. Big top, that. Jimbo. Back and drop, just. Well, SJ. SJ. James. James. Me. <laughs> um, James. Jimbo. Back and drop. Joke. Who's the grumpiest? Pat can be quite grumpy on court. Sometimes things aren't going his way. Grumpiest here is Richie Fallows. Definitely one. Uh, George, because he was rude to me yesterday. And myself? Can you say yourself? Josh Masters, because he's company. SJ. Probably Millie. Josh Masters. Because he hates me. Lucy T. <laughs> Charlie, because uh, he goes out with jazz. <laughs> jazz. Uh, you complain sometimes at squads. George. Just hates everything, doesn't he? <laughs> Walla. Josh. Just observation. Daily life. Walla. He just loves a name, doesn't he? <laughs> so everyone's pretty nice, aren't they? He's not here, but Walla, actually. Walla is the grumpiest. Who takes the longest to get ready? Jazz. Deck. He's into his into his clothes, into his fashion. Probably me, actually. Probably because like, I'm going off and make coffee and come back. 12 seconds later. Get some therabands out, skip. Any months later. Stretch, yeah. Probably me. Daryl actually is a good one for that, yeah. Shared with him a few times and he, he likes to take his time. He makes sure his uh, social media feeds are up to date before we, uh, we rock on out. Coleman. Just takes ages to do everything. <laughs> Georgie Boy. He uses all his oils and stuff. Probably me. I'm a bit scatty and I faff around. Richie. <laughs> Jazz. Richie. Nice. Richie. Bobby. Jasmine Hutton. Just always late. Never always the last one to leave. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jazz. <laughs> Normally me, to be fair. I'm the longest. I'm, I like to do all my creams and everything else. Richie. Sits in there for like half an hour before he does anything. Richie. He's always last out of the changing rooms. Richie. Richie's as a beauty regime. Lucy. Who has the worst temper? George can be quite feisty. Uh, George, known to flare up a little bit. <laughs> George. <laughs> Is that, there's only one answer, right? George, surely. <laughs> George. <or Who's>... me. <laughs> George. Gotta be GP in it, it's gotta be George Parker. George. <laughs> George. Do I have to say George? Pat. It's from Liverpool. 
George. He breaks a lot of rackets and he shouts a lot. George and SJ. A few racket throws from time to time. Uh, George. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Who is the most addicted to their phone? You. Obviously. I would say Patrick again on that one. Texting his girlfriend a lot. <laughs> Lucy. She's on her phone a lot. Me. It's probably me. SJ. Yeah. SJ and Daz in a, in a tie. Uh, jazz. Jazz. I'm pretty addicted. I'm trying to cut down on that. Probably Millie. Checks between every uh, every routine, pretty much. Probably so she doesn't have to talk to you. Probably you. You know, no? Lily. Lucy. Daryl. Richie. You're on yours quite a bit. Yeah, I'd say you. <sighs> Daz, Daz Selby, easy. Who is the worst roommate? Yeah. George by far, leaving clothes on the floor, smells, the mat, he sweats obviously like, he makes weird noises in the night, he makes like a weird like humming noise in the night and I, and I don't know what it is. Richie, Richie again. Lucy, we talk a lot. Waller's a great roommate, but also the worst roommate because you when you want him to just be quiet and leave you alone for a little bit, he'll just keep talking forever. But I love him. Love you, Waller. <laughs> Nick Wall. Well, when we try and go to sleep, he just starts laughing. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Not that little kid. They've all been alright to be fair. I'm going to say Deck, but purely because of his snoring. Other than that, legend. I've shared with Deck once, and that man could snore, so Deck. <laughs> George is massive. Just George to all of these questions. <laughs> Lily, because of her alcohol addiction. <laughs> oh. George, she leaves his sweaty kit everywhere. Jazz, we talk too much and go to bed too late. I don't know if I've roomed with anyone besides Patrick and Team Spine, but that automatically makes him the worst. You, because you're really messy as well. I'm going to say Lily again, she's messy. Lucy, she, she always has a shower first. I don't know, I genuinely, I don't know. Everyone's pretty good. Who's the biggest teacher's pet? <laughs> Coleman, Coleman likes the chirps, yeah. Oh. Deck, he loves the chat with the coaches. George. Jimbo. <laughs> Probably me, because I like the what bike camps. Yeah. <laughs> Deck and George, I'd say. Grace Gear. Gina and Deck. Gina. Oh. Millie. Probably George, you know, in a weird way. Often goes on about how he's doing this and doing that, talking about his about his muscles and all that for camps. Millie. Sam. He loves squash and he's always asking the coaches about every every second of the day. Um, if you could be stuck on a desert island with any of the players on the squad, who would it be? Just Pat. Patrick. So he could make me laugh. Alison Walker. Just pure banter. Jim Mike. Just so easy to get along with and just does his own thing, keeps himself to himself, but also very interesting to talk to. Gina. Richie, yeah. Pretty brave and then just scream and shout. Maybe George, because I feel like he'd be good at hunting and finding oh. food for us. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> Coleman, Coleman would be a good value. Definitely Al. <laughs> Jazz, of course. Definitely not Pat or George, they wouldn't have a clue what's going on. Probably Deck actually again. Jazz, I think it would just be fun. <laughs> Sam, it's an absolute pleasure to be around. Voila. Who's the most intelligent? Nathan Lee. Probably SJ, I think he's a smart, smart person. Yeah, I think Tom is, seems quite scarily intelligent. I've seen a couple of his e emails and they were frighteningly uh, intelligent. So Georgina went to Harvard, so I'll say Georgina. James is definitely, definitely very intelligent. Charlie, Charlie's intelligent, isn't he? Nathan, Waller, Daryl, yeah. Jimbo's got a degree, he's got to be pretty clever, isn't he? Uh, but smart. Jimbo. That would be Millie, because she has a degree from you. <laughs> James. Gina. Say Nathan. Nathan, or SJ, or Julian. Tom Richards, pretty sharp. I like Jimbo, it's very intelligent. Millie is as well, which reminds me of SJ. Millie. Who's most likely to be Prime Minister? Nick Lane. I'll go Daryl. Good people person, intelligent. Charlie. 
I don't think anyone's I don't think anyone's suitable to be PM really, but Philly could handle the uh, the hard questions and deflect them well. For for entertainment value, Richie, and he actually do a better job than Boris probably. Out of the girls, I'd say SJ or Millie. Out of the guys, I'd say Nathan. Uh, Jules. Um, Nathan Lake. He just comes across like so diplomatic, doesn't he? Richie. I'd say SJ because she is PSA president. Nathan. Or Julianne. Nathan. Nathan. Who's most likely to break a world record? Probably death on the world by. Sam Todd for growing the most in a year. Tom Richards for drinking the most amount of tea in a calendar year. I'm going to say Richie in talking fast. <laughs> Imagine George, he'd do something, some sort of crazy physical record, maybe. George, met a racket smash in one minute. Gina, sprinter. Mm -hmm. She's rapid. Who's your best mate? Walla. Ben and Dick. And Tom. Maybe Walla. Well, I would say I'm closest to Pat. Coleman, probably. Yeah, George. I, I get on with all the girls, but I have to say Gina. Jazz. Jazz. Aww. Jazz. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> yeah, Deck and Pat. Deck or Pat. Deck or Pat. And I'll probably say so. Lily. Ow. Jazz. <laughs> hey, what's your most unpopular opinion? That peanut butter is disgusting. Cheese is overrated. And my, my, the way I eat, maybe, because I'm vegan. Star Wars is. Cycling is hugely overrated. Warm ups aren't needed. Footballers are the majority of them are lazy and don't train hard. What's your biggest pet peeve? Bad drivers. Even though I am a bad driver myself. Speed cameras. Politics. Uh, spreading butter on toast. The noise it gets to me. When you make plans with someone and then they cancel. My biggest pet peeve is definitely people being inconsiderate. Rudeness. People chewing really loudly or people breathing really loudly. Probably people calling on sets and not games. People taking too long in between movies. Um, people who are late. Someone that dilly dallies that don't know what they want. So it's like, come on, like, what is it? Just generally people not saying thank you for things. People driving slowly. Um, I hate someone who doesn't do the washing up as they go, that really annoys me, it's like not bad, but yeah, that's, that annoys me. What's the worst thing about being a squash player? Money. Being yeah. poor all the time. Lack of money. You have no money. Losing and not getting any money and being on the other side of the world. I can't see my dog all the time. Not many people know what it is. I'm away from home and family. Being away from your family probably would be the, probably would be the worst thing, if anything. Injuries. Waiting for people to return, sir. All the free time, don't know what to do with myself. Long periods away from home. Travel. The days when nothing's going right and you can't turn it around. Hard graph for like not enough reward in my opinion. Uh, missing out on social events. Lack of structure. And where's your dream place to live? Leicester. Some kind of private island. I don't know, the Maldives. Have you had campus, Manchester? LA. Seems cool. Groovy. Bermuda would be a really cool place to live. It's got a couple of good golf courses and it's... I've been there once and just... Probably Bermuda. Brisbane, Gold Coast. Hawaii. Either here as in England or Sydney. Mm, California, maybe? California. San Francisco. I like Barcelona. Barcelona. It'd be Chicago for me, it's my favourite place. And New Zealand. New Zealand. Cape Town. Thanks so much for watching, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Please smash your huge thumbs up and please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this and stay tuned for my next video. Cheers guys! <laughs>